now he says he's in his prime and he is looking for the upset tonight of undefeated Sergio Mora. That is our main event. This is round number seven, scheduled for eight, between Carson Jones and Alfonso Gomez. We also want to remind you, at the conclusion of this fight, our co-feature, we will have part two of that outstanding feature on referee Mills Lane. Teddy Atlas's scorecard through six rounds, all Gomez, 60 to 54. Body shot with the left hand, again. Good work with the jab now, just misses, Trying to back it up with the right hand. You know, if I was a teacher handing out a scorecard, I'd give Jones probably a C, a C plus for geography, for standing where he needs to stand in his ring. But I'd give him an A, an A plus for heart and for courage. Shots been a central theme for the night Gomez has been having 55%, 39 and 71. Right hand to the body there. Again, when the problem is when there's three lines of defense blocking, moving your head, and using your legs, and you depend on one 90% of the time, as Jones does with the legs, and those legs are not there for you, you become more and more available in this case. More and more available to go at. Shows a little bit of the frustration of Carson Jones. Punch track numbers, the headshots. Gomez 126 of 48. That includes the straight right hands and the work with the jab. Jones with a moment there where he felt confidence to fire free as he came forward. See, I like that behavior of Jones because he's at the point in the fight behind in this fight where. He could be concentrating just on lasting, but by behaving the way you saw him a moment ago, coming forward, even almost in a reckless way, he's not concentrating on surviving and lasting. He's concentrating and still trying to win the fight. First time he's been past six rounds in his career. Gomez has been eight rounds one time before, and as you said, Jones never passed six. He's been six rounds four times. Another right hand. Three right hands land at the end of this seventh round for Alfonso Gomez. Alfonso Gomez. Coming off of that war he had against Jesse Feliciano, it was a draw in Vegas, a brutally draining and taxing fight. He has looked good and consistent here against a very game Carson Jones, the eighth and final round. You know, you just touched on the last fight Gomez had three and a half months ago, a grueling, almost destructive fight with Jesse Feliciano. And it's so important coming off a fight like that, if you're a manager of a fighter, to pick a fight in the next one where your fighter has an edge, where it figures that it'll be an entertaining fight if it's on TV, but not a grueling fight. The manager, in this case for Gomez, Gary Gittleson, did a good job in doing that Stop. and selecting Jones, a game guy, but a guy that Gomez could, could, could control and has control. That's a slip. Push, push, no push. Push, push. Jack right. Reese says. Of course, Gary Gittleson, a manager. Oh, good uppercut. Of Gomez, he also manages some other good fighters, including former world champion Brian Valoria, as now Gomez trying to put an exclamation point, or Gomez trying to put an exclamation point on what seems to be a win here tonight. But as you noted about halfway through this fight, good effort from Carson Jones. He came out to fight in the safe round. He just doesn't have the weaponry offensively and the overall maturity, experience, and skill set to be accomplishing what he needs to against Alfonso Gomez. Clubbing with a right hand, then goes to the body shot, but still Jones fires back, takes a couple steps forward, eats a jab. The bulk of the offense for Gomez has been to the body 
and right hands over that slow jab of Jones. Good to have a jab, and you're a quicker guy and a fleeter guy that, like Jones is, you need to use that jab. But it doesn't serve you. It becomes actually a dangerous weapon for you, an opportunity for your opponent if you throw that jab too slow from too close. And there's been plenty of moments that Jones has done that, and he's eaten right hands. Just misses with the uppercut, but doesn't miss with the left hand. And that is it. Jones has behaved like a fighter all night long, and it's not ending right now. He is not happy that this fight has been stopped. He can't believe it. Let's look at that finishing flurry from Alfonso Gomez when Jack Reese said, I've seen enough. Right hand. The body shot, the uppercut missed. There was the straight left. 